Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to go over one of the most common algebra topics on the SAT math section, linear equations in two variables. So these types of equations will usually establish some kind of relationship between two variables x and y, and the change in y with respect to the change in the x is known as the slope. So let's take a look at this graph example right here. If we look at the change in the y points, we see it's 4, and the change in the x is 2. So in this case, the slope would be 4 over 2, or 2. Now that we've recapped what a slope is, let's get into the different ways the SAT math section can present linear equations in two variables. So there's three of them, and we're going to start with the standard form of linear equations. The standard form is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are constants and x and y are variables. Now the standard form is mostly useful for finding intercepts of the x and the y axis. So these are the points where your line is going to intersect the x axis or intersect the y axis. And to do this, you set the opposite variable equal to zero and then solve for the variable whose intercept you're trying to find. So let's take a look at this example here. We have 5x plus 3y is equal to 20. So if we set y equal to zero, we're gonna be left with 5x equals 20. And then we solve for x by getting x equals four. So that means the x-intercept is gonna be at four comma zero. And if we look at the graph at this equation, we can see that the x-intercept is at four comma zero. You can also find the slope of the equation by using standard form. So you do this by taking the opposite sign of coefficient a and then taking that over b. So in our previous example, we had 5x plus 3y equals 20. So with this in mind, our slope would be negative 5 over 3. Now this next form makes it easier to find the slope and the y-intercept. And this is known as slope-intercept form, where you have y equals mx plus b. And in this context, m is equal to your slope and b is equal to your y-intercept. And this is probably the linear equation that you're most familiar with. And it's especially useful for graphing purposes. You can put in a point at zero comma B and then use the slope to plot the next few points. You can also convert between standard form and slope intercept form by rearranging standard form. So if you use your algebra skills, you can take the original AX plus BY equals C and rearrange it to Y equals negative A over BX plus C over B. And that is the same thing as slope intercept form. The last type of linear equation you need to know is point-slope form. And this is used when you're given a point and a slope and you need to make an equation out of it. So point-slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where x1 and y1 are numbers from the given point. So for example, if we're given a slope of 3 and a point of negative 2 comma 1, we would achieve y minus 1 equals 3 times x plus 2. Similar to what we did with standard form, we can easily convert between point-slope form and slope-intercept form by rearranging the equation. So we take our original point-slope form that we talked about in our last example, and we can distribute the three and get y minus one equals three x plus six. Then we can move the negative one to the other side by adding one on both sides and getting y equals three x plus seven. So there you go. Now you know the three basic linear equation forms and what they're useful for. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new about linear equations and are now ready to kill it on the SAT math section. For more practice problems and access to a 24-7 online study tool, check out ACIT at the link below. ACIT is the ultimate study tool for the SATs and the ACTs created by Juni Learning, an award-winning educational tech company that has helped thousands of students take their learning to the next level. Get a one-week free trial when you use the link in the description. Good luck and happy studying!